Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I am excited to bring you today's review. Um, over the Black Friday weekend, um, for, you know, friends of the What's on Joe Mind podcast and sponsors, Kokomo Toys, were having a little bit of a sale, and I was able to pick up from the G.I. Joe Collectors Club Figure Subscription Service 2.0 Wide Scope. Now, I do have the figure, not just the packaging, but since this is our first look at um, their figure subscription service, I thought you might like to see how the figures come packaged. This is a traditional 25th anniversary neoclassic style card. I do believe the artwork is new since Wide Scope was part of the Joe vs. Cobra era, and you, he, you know, he came, well, actually, it came in a two pack with a bat, and you know, the designs were a little bit different. So it is very nice artwork, I have to say. You see um, Wide Scope and his canine partner, Lamont. And then on the back, you get a, uh, since they don't want to really reveal the upcoming figures, you have uh, a larger image of him, a little zoom in, as well as the bio. But, you know, that's enough with the card. Let's take a look at the figure. And here it is. Ooh, you just the camera ever so slightly. So yes, um, Wide Scope is a repaint of the Pursuit of Cobra Shock Trooper, which, as we all know, that basic body mold with with the same head, with different heads, has been reused quite often and has really become the new standard uh body mold and i have to say it's a fantastic body mold the only improvements i could make on it would be adding a um, rocker ankle as well as a well once you do that you have to put in either a calf or boot swivel but uh as it is it's fantastic and i really like it wide scope comes in this very nice shade of aquatic blue with a textured camouflage pattern that if i'm not mistaken is called Urban Ice, or at least that's what the club called it when they used a similar pattern some years ago for a Steel Brigade set. Don't hold me to that. As you can see, one of the accessories it comes with is um, this great sniper rifle of sorts. Um, I do believe um, this is actually a ex retooling of the exact same rifle the original figure came with. And uh, this is actually where there's a little bit of a controversy with this figure. Uh, some people have said that it's, it's very confusing what he is. Um, you know, SWAT teams don't have snipers. Snipers don't have canines. Canines aren't used in crowd control. You know, first of all, from what I understand, snipers are universal. In like, every branch of military law enforcement, when necessary, have snipers. So it's possible for a SWAT team to have them. Uh, you know, yes, the correct, the canine officer wouldn't be a sniper. But also, you know, when they talk about crowd control, they're talking about the inclusion of this great shield, which I do believe is a retool of the shield that came with the shock trooper. Now... In my opinion, this is not a crowd control shield. You cannot see through it. You know, there is an opening, but usually they're clear. This is more of like a tactical knock down the door shield. Um, and I think, which, which, if you look at his bio, is something that he's supposed to do. So it's very possible, being a G.I. Joe, he wears many hats. You know, he has a canine unit. You know, he's a canine officer. They use when they, they're helpful and you have to knock down a door. He is a sniper when he has to be. Now, for when he's not a sniper, and this is where we ha I have a little bit of a complaint. He came with this great submachine gun, which, if you remember, I think the, the, the right, uh, retaliation line was really the first time we saw it. It came with Cobra Commander, uh, Ninja Duel, Snake Eyes, and I think a few others. And it's a great short rifle. Um... He can hold it. Uh, you have to kind of finagle it a little because it, uh, his hands are a little off. Uh, you can get some low grip two-handed poses with it. But my problem is, and let me uh, just show you. And I'm going to have to uh, forgive me for a moment as I adjust the focus so you can see this. And 
this is basically, I have to say, all on the Collector's Club. Because as I'm bringing this in, let me... This was rubber banded to his wrist. Not in the hand. So the hands are perfectly fine, which is great. I think a lot of people, at both in Hasbro and the club, have gotten away from rubber banding weapons into hands because they realize how that um, stresses the plastic. But this was rubber banded to the wrist. And unfortunately, it was rubber banded on the part here where the stock is. And as you can see, that's a very thin section. So what ended up happening is I have stress marks on both sides of the stock and I mean that's purely because the fact that the way it was rubber banded and then the arm was posed um, the uh, the stock became bent now I'm not afraid of it breaking because really I mean I don't know how often I'll use it uh, one thing I should also mention and again this is just the nature of the sculpt very difficult, if impossible, to get a two-handed grip on that sniper rifle. And that's just because the arms can't come across more. But we're going to get into that with articulation, which I think we'll do right now. Here's a nice closer look at Wide Scope's articulation. I should also mention that the hat is removable. There isn't a gas mask. We'll, we'll get to that in a moment. But much like the Shock Trooper, head is on a ball joint. You have... Uh, Pin and socket arms, uh, 90 degree bend at the elbows, uh, rotation at the bicep. This hand has the, you know, wrist artic. Uh, you can rotate at the wrist. It's a little tight, but you also have the up and down joints built in. This hand has the same uh, rotation, but instead the grip can go up and down. That's usually the standard now that you have one hand do one thing and the other hand do the other. There is an ab crunch, but it is blocked by the vest, but the vest is removable. You do have, uh, there is waist articulation. One thing I should mention is that on this vest, if you remember, there was a hole uh, down here in the back. That's been uh, covered by this uh, walkie-talkie. I do not know if that's removable. I'm not going to chance it. Uh, ball jointed hips, double jointed knees, you have full range of movement, and then the ankles, you have the forward and back, um, ankle articulation, as well as rotation, no ankle rockers, which would have made this figure absolutely perfect, um, you know, and that's really all I can say about it in terms of articulation, uh, let's take a quick look at Lamont. Okay. Um, I'm sure somebody in the comments can help me out, but I'm not really sure where this animal mold has been used before. It's not um, Bobcat or Max, or it's not Order, so I'm a little confused. It's a very nice sculpt of a, uh, of a dog done in the um, uh, black black paint. I guess that's the original color was. Um, when he came, that the handle was actually looped on the tail, but it's easily removed. You can take it off. You can also remove this harness, just bring it over the ears. But yeah, uh, it's basically there is a secondary gray harness, and you know it's it's a nice dog. Uh, I, I mean, it, I find it a little interesting that it has a very neutral expression on its face, and not the um, usually overly aggressive look that a lot of the um, other Joe companion animals have. Maybe that was done on reason, for a reason, I don't know. But um, let's pause and I'll give you my final thoughts on the figure. Wide Scope was really the only figure, um, outside of maybe Falcon, that I was interested in from this uh, figure subscription service 2.0 wave. And I have to point out that a lot of people got these very quickly. In fact, we uh, if you had... Um, signed up for the service, you basically got two shipments in one month, or at least it sort of worked out that way. And I have to give the top tip of the hat to the club for doing that, because they really uh, were very excited to get these out, much like they were with the Transformers figure subscription service. And I have to say, I think this is a fantastic figure. I mean, now again, the color, it's just because of me, and I like the color blue. But um, if you didn't sign up, uh, I know Big Bad Toy Store has some in stock, so you can try and uh, get it from there. But keep in mind, you'll be paying roughly around uh, $40 or so. 
Um, for, I, I would say pay no more between 40 and $45 for this figure. Um, so I did actually, for you, put on the gas mask. And also, like on the front of the card, with that rescue um, grip that was on the back of his vest, you can hook the shield. But it's not that sturdy. So um, I would just do it if you're going to pose the guy and leave it. So uh, this is your old pal Chuck for Widescope. And Lamont, we'll see you next time.